Welcome to the Pestfix Balcony Netting Kits, a rough guide to video installation. These kits are designed to stop pigeons and seagulls from roosting on your balcony. This video will help you to understand how to install a balcony bird net. It will not be accurate instructions as balconies differ from building to building. If you are unsure, then get a bird proofing specialist or sign up to one of our training courses. Let's start by looking at the components that you receive in your balcony netting kit. You will receive drill bits relative to the size of the fixings contained in the kit. Corner eye bolts are the structural fixing at each corner of the balcony. Screw eyes and wall plugs for permanent intermediate fixings between corners. Net guide demountable fixings for adjustable intermediate fixings between corners. Wire rope and side cutters to hang your net onto. Wire rope grips and nut spinner to clamp your wire terminating points. Barrel strainer, turnbuckle, to tension your wire rope. 50mm heavy duty knotted pigeon netting. Sprung netting shears to trim down excess net. Hog ring stapler, staples and zip ties to permanently attach the net to the wire. S-clips to temporarily attach the net to the wire. You will also need a drill, screwdriver and measuring tape, which is not supplied. The demonstration is taking place in our film studio with a small timber frame as a representation of a balcony. The first stage in installing a bird net is placing your corner fixings. Use the correct drill bit to make holes in the substrate. Then install the corner bolts into the holes securely. The next stage is to measure out where you will place your vertical intermediate fixings, the screw eyes. These should be at a maximum of one metre apart and must only be installed on both of the vertical axes. Drill holes using the correct drill bit, add wall plugs if necessary, then fit the screw eyes. Next, we need to fit the horizontal intermediate fixings, the demountable net guides. Like the vertical fixings, these should be at a maximum interval of one meter and installed on both the horizontal axes. It is recommended that you have the curled pigtail of these fixings pointing inwards. You will now need to attach your wire rope. For this, you will need to have your wire rope, wire rope cutters, wire rope grips, and nut spinner tool. Find the end of the wire rope and feed on two loose wire rope grips. Then feed your wire rope through the eye of a corner fixing, then return this wire back through the two wire rope grips. Use your nut spinner to tighten the nuts on the wire rope grips so the wire rope is securely clamped. You can now thread the other end of the wire through all the intermediate and corner fixings. Do not attempt to fix this wire onto the corner fixing. This end of the wire will need to terminate on the barrel strainer provided in this kit. Quick tip, ensure the barrel strainer is on the most open, longest setting before moving to the next step. First, feed two loose wire rope grips onto the wire rope. Then feed the wire through the eye of the barrel strainer. Place the hook of the barrel strainer onto the corner fixing that you started the wire rope on. Feed the end of the wire back through the loose wire rope grips and pull the wire taut. Keep this wire taut and tighten the nuts on the wire rope grips using the nut spinner. Once your wire is secure to all the fixings, twist the centre of the barrel straightener to tighten the wire and ensure it is under tension. Over tension on the wire and you risk excessive pull on your fixings. Under tension and your net will not be secure. Once you have your wire frame set up and under tension, it's time to get your bird net. Nets will arrive in a bundle. Remove the strapping to start unravelling. The corner of the net will have a coloured twine marker on it. And if your net isn't a square, the product label will be on the long edge of that net. Find a corner and place the corner square over the corner fixing and fix into place with a netting corner tie. Fetch your hog ring stapler and staples. 
Load the staple gun by opening the spring-loaded barrel, place a run of staples in the stapler and close the barrel. Hoggering staples create a loop of metal around the net and the wire, securing it into place. Start stapling from your first corner and along the long edge. You will need to affix a staple to every square of netting. Ensure you follow the same line of squares so your net is fixed straight and unbunched. If you make a mistake, use your side cutters to remove the hog ring and restaple it correctly. Return back to your first corner and start stapling down the short edge. You will then follow the other long edge. Ensure your net is taut when you staple along this long edge. Your netting squares should be square and not diagonal. You may have excess net, but this can be trimmed down at the end of the installation. Do not staple the fourth edge. You need this one free. Instead of staples, which are permanent, the last edge will be fixed with the netting S-clips. Place the loop of the S-clip into the net and the hook of the S-clip onto the wire. As with the staples, do this for every square of netting. Once you are happy that you have fixed your net taut without folds or bunches, then you can use your sprung netting shears to trim down any excess net. Place netting corner ties on any squares that there was not space to staple, for example at the barrel strainer. Do not put any netting ties on the corners of the fourth edge. We'll now show you how to open and close your balcony net. First, unhook the netting S-clips from the wire. Do not remove them from the netting. Next, unhook the wire rope through the curled tail of the intermediate netting fixings. You can then pull your net across like opening a curtain. To return the net to its original position, reverse the earlier steps. Rehook the wire, then rehook the net.